we're, we're actually in Vegas today for the, uh, the Advanced Transportation Conference. And uh, we're here pitching our electric APU, our auxiliary power unit for, for heavy duty trucks that is meant to basically mitigate idling, save on diesel fuel. Um, and I know there's a, there's a big push to electrify trucks, to electrify transportation. This is, this is lower hanging fruit here that we're trying to, to address. We can do this now. Well, well, yeah, I mean, no, your APU, I mean, it, it, it's, okay, you're in California, you're, you're in Bakersfield, it's 105 degrees outside. Um, and um, I don't know if you're familiar with like uh, the new electronic um, logging for drivers. A, a driver can only drive uh, for so long and they right. have to nap. Yes. Okay. And um, before, you know, they used to do it with a log and their nickname was their swindle sheets. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because certain times, you know what I mean? Um, they would try and get around some of that stuff and like that. But now they have to stop. Okay, I mean, it's electronic. They will get in trouble. I mean, mm -hmm. and sometimes, you know, our, no, you have to sleep for four hours. Mm -hmm. And if you're in, like, Bakersfield, I mean, like, if you're in the Mojave Desert, you're someplace where, I mean, or you're somewhere where it's just absolutely freezing outside, you have to stop your truck. And a lot of states are not allowed to idle it. So, um, you know, your units, it's brilliant, okay? And, like, even states where you, you can idle your truck, why would you, I mean, Diesel in some places is six bucks a gallon, okay? And a diesel truck just sitting there idle is still, you know, it's 12, 15 bucks an hour just to idle it. If you can just run everything off your APU, I mean, you literally can, it can pay for itself in a year or two. That's right. Um, and it makes all the sense in the world. And like I said, I've had your batteries for years. I have, I think I have 72 of them running right now. Mm -hmm. I haven't had one, one go bad. I mean, I started off with my, what, like, Start off like 30 of them, and then I added more, and more but I, I've never had one of your batteries go bad. So like, and um, I abuse the hell out of them. You know, um, it's literally because, you know, I charge them, and then I have a bunch of people over the house, I have a big party, and then, you know, I'm reusing all the power, and I drain them completely, and then I turn the big generator on, and then charge them quicker than I should, and then... Uh, <laughs> But I've never had them going bad. It, it's it's kind of brilliant. Just uh, you're driving along. You have an alternator charge uh, the APU. You snuff. You can you have hours and hours of air conditioning and heat. Um, you save money on diesel. It's good for the environment. You're not going to get a ticket for idling. It just it just solves a million problems. Yeah, it's it's in our wheelhouse. We've been doing that for years with RVs and just drive down the road, charging for the alternator, and then you park and yeah. you don't have to run your generator. You can make you can make coffee. And the price of the unit, I mean, it's for, for the amount of fuel it saves and for everything else, it's remarkably cheap. It really is. I mean, it's, it just, it fixes a regulatory problem. Um, it keeps, you know, whether, whether you're an owner operator or you're in a fleet or something like that, it keeps the driver co comfortable because we don't want miserable drivers out there that haven't slept well. Mm -hmm. uh, that's just a bad thing in general. Um, and it saves money, and it's good for the environment. It does everything. For, for I mean, it, it's a very, for a very reasonable price. And, um, you know, I think you're going to sell a gazillion of them. Come by our booth today. <laughs> no, I mean, like, no, I'm coming up there and nerding out. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's going to be great. It's going to be yeah. great.